guys, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G, and this is what it's gonna look like after we've opened all these great characters. And so before we get started, please subscribe to our channel. That way you can follow us and see future videos coming up. Click the little bell so you can turn on notifications. Please comment below where you're watching from and let us know what you think of this unboxing the entire complete set from Thor Ragnarok. Let's get started. Welcome back friends to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Today we have the complete Marvel Legends series for Thor Ragnarok including the extra special two character set featuring Thor and Marvel's Valkyrie. We'll get that one open in just a bit. This is the build a figure set for Hulk. The one that has Gladiator Hulk looks really amazing. It looks like it's going to be pretty big too. And we take a look, we have Thor, Loki, Hela, this is Jane actually as Thor. Then we have Marvel's Odinson and Marvel's Ares. Let me show you the other one too. Because then we also have Marvel's Valkyrie and then a different version of Thor that's very similar to this one. However, without the helmet and a couple of other key differences. So mainly being the weapon and the and the lightning. So let's get this open. Let's go ahead and get started. What do you say? With his worthiness called into question, Thor must fight to preserve the legacy of Asgard and the godliness that he once claimed. Looks amazing back here. Can't wait to get all these figures open, including building that Hulk. That Hulk looks incredible, and we can't wait to get it open, can we? All right, first off, we have, take a look at this. We have Hulk's head in here. What's this other stuff? I guess this just holds a cape. Let's set these aside. Let's start with taking our Hulk pieces out. Hulk's helmet. Wow, that came flying at me really fast. All right, have Hulk's head here. Pretty darn amazing. Okay, the two incredible swords right here. No, at first glance I'm a little concerned because they seem super flimsy. Look at that, I don't know about that. Like the singing sword. Um, yeah, anyway, they look great. The problem is they're a little crooked. It looks like we're not going to be able to keep them straight. That's my only concern. Well. All right, let's move on. So other than that, everything looks great so far. Hmm, a little tricky how to get his cape out. I guess I'm gonna have to pop it off there. Pop it out first and then pop it out of the back. Okay, so I'm taking a close look at this Thor character. I guess the helmet's gonna be very similar. So that's a little bit of a shame because I don't like how flimsy it is. I would have liked to have been plastic like this. I guess they're afraid it's gonna break off or crack off, but I would have much rather preferred that. In any event, still looks really good. Character's got some great articulation points. He crunches right here in the abs, that's great. Moves the waist, that's great. The arms look like they have complete articulation. Wrist move, okay. And then we have this really cool like, the shoulder guard right here. Let's see if it restricts his arm going up, it does. So, I mean not tons. See how it's attached, it's attached right here, okay. So, let's see what we got here. Let's see how the legs move. See if they're not restricted with his little outfit right here. Still move out pretty good. Still got a pretty good range of motion. Will it come all the way forward? Yes. All right. And the ankles and the heels. All right, so this character looks amazing, actually. Let's put this cape on. So I can get it all the way in there. And then it also connects right here. 
And so this looks very much like the movie. There's some amazing detail on this. Let's take a close look. Look at the war paint that they put on him. The paint detail on here looks amazing. I can't stress that enough. That looks great. The detail on the cape, the helmet. My, The only downside is I wish it was not this flimsy, plasticky, vinyl y type helmet, that it was more like this. In any event, this is a great looking character. And I take it back. I don't like that this is the same material because it's so flimsy. I wish those would have been a little bit better thought out. Okay, so it might be a little bit harder to get these in the hands because the thumb is so closed right here. So that's going to be another concern of ours. I'm probably going to have to slide it from the bottom up to get it in there. Ooh, it almost worked. I don't, I don't want to just crack off the thumb. That would be a big no-no. Oof, it's going to be difficult. Let's try that again. This is the only way to get it in there without just completely wreaking havoc on this toy character. There we go. Alright, that was not easy. Looks like same thing for this hand. Probably gonna have to slide it in there first. And then, boom, boom, there we are. So, this character looks great. Look at that. Looks just like Chris Hemsworth. The outfit looks just like in the movie. I gotta say, I love the way this character looks. Okay, so we'll set our Hulk pieces aside and we'll come back. Now obviously this looks like it's made from the same material, so it's not going to be super great and sturdy either. If I can get this to focus again, there we go. But nonetheless, that's great, 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 great detail. So let's set our door aside. Next, Loki. Oop. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Forever a trickster, Loki's allegiances are often unclear. However, one thing can be said for certain, Loki always looks out for Loki's best interest. Ain't that the truth? All right. What I'm excited about is that it comes with this helmet. That would have been awesome if it came with the Chitari Scepter from the first movie of the Avengers. Now, clearly it has nothing to do with Thor Ragnarok, so why would it? But, you know, still would have been cool can dream, can I? All right. So first off, wow. This series has unbelievably great detail. Get that character out. So this comes with Hulk's right leg. Check that out. Wow, even great toenails. <laughs> okay, that looks great. Here's Loki's helmet. Once again, the same super soft vinyl-y feel to it. Super soft plastic. And then we have this card right here. Let's see. There's those pop right on the top of the shoulders. Let's pull Loki out. It's just like Tom Houston. And all right, let's get a close look. And there's great detail on that. Looks just like him. Great um, Sakaar um, outfit. Good hand pose. He's super thin. Let's see, crunches right here on the abs. That's good. Let's see, turns at the waist. Why does it seem like he doesn't really turn at the waist? Okay. Uh, great question. I don't know why, because maybe he doesn't. Oh, he does. Turns out he does. Okay, he's got this, like, man skirt. <laughs> and look at these boots. Wow, great job on the paint detail, guys. Way to go, Hasbro. All right, so let's put 
the helmet on. That looks amazing. And then let's see where this goes. Looks like it goes right in there. That doesn't look like it's going to be easy to put it in. Because it's underneath the hair. Oh, that might be frustrating. Okay, well the hair's softer than normal. Okay, so I guess... Look, the hair's actually softer than normal. I just assumed it would be like previous characters with the hair super hard. Okay. Nah, I'm not real concerned about popping that in there right there. Get his helmet back on. And let me say, this character looks amazing! Look at that. Great job, Loki. Great job, Hasbro. Let's put him right back here. Next, we have Marvel's Hella. Man, she was a force to be reckoned with, wasn't she? And this looks just like Kate Blanchett. Looks just like Kate Blanchett. All right, so let's see what we got here. Marvel's Hella. Ragnarok obsessed super being. Hella threatens the balance of the kingdoms on her quest for power and domination. So, she seemed absolutely unstoppable in the movie. And if it weren't for them destroying Asgard with that big fire being going down Ragnarok, I mean, I don't know what they would have done. Alright, so, another one. Man, they're all about capes at Asgard. <laughs> Let's take the Hulk's right arm out. Once again, I mean, the detail for these Ragnarok figures is incredible. Incredible, incredible. Look at that. Okay. I guess let's take the... All right, look, it comes with the hammer. I'm sorry, this, like, axe that, that he has from the Gladiator axe. Uh, I'm not, I'm not feeling it with this... Um, flimsy plastic going on. But okay. Put that aside. Let's see. I'm sure her cape comes off. It's got one peg, like a soft peg that goes in the back. And look at this ridiculous crown here that doesn't come off. So it looks like we would have to take the head off to get her, get her out. And then, of course, we have the other head here. All right. Wow, look at that. This is an amazingly well-detailed head. So if this goes here... Uh-oh. Bring that forward a little bit. How do I feel about that? Wow, it turns here. Kind of goes a little bit up and down. See, wrist, it's got good wrist action. Bending, and make sure the elbow. Did it, ooh, I don't want to crack that off, let's see. There we go. Careful, this is a little more fragile than the other ones. Great detail in the outfit, all around. Looks just like her. Switch heads. Kind of. Let's put this cape right here. That's all you gotta do. This just kind of goes over. And then look at this head with this crown. My goodness. Now that looks amazing. Wow. All right, she's gonna go right there. Put our accessories over here. Next, we have Thor, kind of. So, 
Deemed worthy to raise the mighty Mjolnir, Jane Foster claims the mantle of Thor, goddess of thunder. So, you know, I'm not real familiar with this storyline where she becomes Thor and is able to yield uh, Mjolnir, but I remember hearing a little bit about it. So, it's definitely an interesting twist. Let's get her up. Let's get her open. Alright, looks like we have the Hulk's belt here. This is huge. The Hulk's left leg. Much like the right leg. That aside. Once again, as guardians, means capes. Wow, look at this. Okay, so this is the same type of hat. It's a little bit thicker. And these interesting shoes and like ankle cuff deals right here. It's almost like a Hermes shoe kind of. Alright, so she has this kind of skirt deal. And then this just plugs right here. So you get to see the eyes a little bit. Yeah, it's a focus again. There we go. And they have her super buff. Alright, so set that aside. Let's get Mjolnir out. This Mjolnir um, looks amazing. I wish it wasn't a little bending that way, but man, this looks amazing. I'm digging this Mjolnir. That's what it looks like when she holds it. Amazing. Amazing. Looks great. This character looks great. Alright, let's set Jane right over here. And if you notice, she's not super tall. Not that you were really wondering that. Alright. Moving on, who do we got next? We have Marvel's Odin Son. All right, so let's get them open. I was a little confused because, okay, right here on the back it says, Crusaders of the Realms. These warriors wield ancient weapons in their fight to bring balance to the kingdoms from which they hail. So I'm a little confused because I was trying to see if this was Thor Odinson, because it just says Marvel's Odinson. Who would still be Thor. I guess like a young version. So that's why I was a little bit confused. I'm not 100% sure. I'm kind of confident. But I mean it does look like a young Thor. But I'm not 100% sure. This definitely looks like one of Thor's weapons. So let's take a closer look. Alright so we have the chest. The midsection, uh, midsection torso of the Hulk. This like... Gladiator skirt right here is super soft plastic. We'll set that aside. Let's get our Odin Sun out. This is, I think, um, kind of like a Stormbreaker. I, I forgot what it was called right now. You can pull that out. Um, but it's like a precursor to it. In the comic books. And then, let's see. This one looks like the cape's actually supposed to go all the way through. Unlike the other ones. Oh, this character looks outstanding. Looks like one of his arms is already about to pop out. Let's see, it's a little tough. Uh-oh. I'm not getting that arm to bend. So maybe I don't want to bend it or it's going to crack right off. Alright, so we got the cuffs right here. They're not affixed to the body. Let's see. There we go. This one comes out. Let's see if we can do the same thing to this one. This one's not liking being moved. Nope, I don't want to break it. I guess we'll leave it at that. Here's the face detail, blue eyes, super skin tight shirt, got the rocking the baby tee, and then back and forth and side to side. So, got some pretty good mobility here. 
this cape. Let's see. Not sure how it's attached. Looks like it's just permanently around his neck. So you'd have to pop off his head to take it off, I guess. Let's see. Doesn't have anything else other than that. Oops. Let's bring this dot forward. Oh, this ball joint's like super loose. So it's there we go. Oh. Okay, so this one's not happy. This one doesn't want us to really take the head off. But anyway, we still accomplished it. This one, let's see. It's having difficulty with the arm. This one's giving us trouble. The neck's too loose and the arm won't budge. I don't want to crack the shoulder off. But this joint's not moving at all. So it's permanently just kind of... So I'm sorry to say I got... Looks like I got it kind of a dud here. But still a really good looking character. And of course we have our Hulk build a figure piece. I would have liked to have not gotten a dud as far as arms always permanently out there. Alright, so let's have him hold the axe. This axe looks super, super amazing. Look at that. I love the way that looks. All as guardians, capes. Let's give him a little bit better leg pose. Maybe a strong power stance. There we go. Alright. And getting closer to the end, we have Nine Realms, Marvel's Ares, with looks like two amazing weapons at least. Maybe three. And then the Hulk's Gladiator Hammer here. Let's get this bad boy open. It's got the same wording on the back. So, Crusaders of the Realms, these warriors wield ancient weapons in their fight to bring balance to the kingdoms from which they hail. Alright. Uh oh. It's not opening right away. There we go. Nice. Wow, this one's got tons of stuff. And lo and behold, no cape. What is the deal? All right, look at this amazing axe. Now, this is what we're talking about, accessories heaven over here. Beautiful axe. Look at that. Okay. Amazing, huge, like, this huge, long broadsword. Wow. It's like Final Fantasy style. Okay. Take Ares out, but first let's look at Hulk's gladiator hammer. This looks awesome. This looks feels a little more solid than the other weapons. Even though it is a little flimsy, but definitely feels tons more solid. And we have the left arm, gladiator style, with complete with master blaster spikes. Let's put that aside. This is actually. One of my favorite of all. Oh man! And the helmet comes off. Surprise, surprise. Okay, this is easily one of my favorite characters now in the whole set. Um, I don't know if I'm totally digging that, like, shirt design right here. It looks all right. It looks a little basic, considering this character's definitely got some meanness to him. Let's see if this moves. Nope, that stays right there. Move this arm. This is definitely a beefy looking character. He looks mean. Let's see if we can move the head around. The head does not move up and down, just kind of turns. Alright, that's alright. It's got blue guy liner right here. Got some sideburns rocking, got a little bit of widow's peak. Definitely looks beefy. Look at this awesome belt right here. I don't think this oh it does look at this this character is amazing he's got a dagger right here boom way to go Hasbro this is a bomb character look at these awesome uh, these metal boots here they're like night boots and guess what this is instantly my one of my favorite characters of the set I thought this helmet was just going to be permanently affixed to his head. 
it wasn't and it goes on there and now he looks wow look at that nice got that like Spartan or Trojan type helmet nice sorry I don't know the difference another Greek <laughs> all right here we go let's put this amazing sword in his hand look at that let's put this amazing axe in his hand oh this is gonna be harder Ew. cram it in there all right let's switch hands I guess let's do what we did in the last one. Let's shove it up from the bottom up. It's because the thumb's also like down on it kind of weird like that. All right. So I'm definitely digging that. This one. So we can spin it in there, sure can. Now that is what I'm talking about. Look at this. Took a picture there. Man, this character did not look this cool from outside the package. Definitely looks super amazing. Let's get this leg going a little bit better. Yes, yes, and yes. Easily one of the best characters actually of all time from the Marvel Legends series. All right, look at that. I guess let's not block Thor. Thor is our main character. Let's put him over here like that. What do you think? All right, so. Um, it's almost time to build the Hulk, but I guess let's open our other two characters. Let's see what we got here. We got Valkyrie, and we have another version of Thor, where he's finally getting down with his lightning powers as God of Thunder. So, because it's soft plastic, I'm not digging the bow legs, but in any event. Rocking this. I do love the fact that I do love the fact that this character comes with additional hands to swap out. All right. Great detail in this character. Let's see, there's a major difference is doesn't have that on here. A lot of stuff is very similar. This is just like that. All right, there's not a whole lot, there's no paint right here. So that's definitely different. This one's intended to have lightning. Look at this. All right, I'm assuming this just kind of goes around his arm. That looks awesome. And then of course we have extra hands right here. Now that being said, I didn't read the back. So let's jump to that real quick. Armed with ancient weapons and legendary strength, these Asgardian warriors proudly defend the legacy of their realm. All right, and it's got a great picture here. It definitely looks just like them, so I guess we do just kind of put it there on the hand. Look, is this the, the incredible Bifrost sword right here? Sure looks like it. Could be wrong, but it definitely looks like it. Heimdall's sword, right? right let's see what we got here with Valkyrie. She also has a very minimal, but still nonetheless, cape. Ok, 
Okay, so that little bit right there. Did a good job on the hair. Got the belt that's loose on its own. This is soft plastic. Um, like I said, not super happy that. Oh, it's this kind of knee joint and leg that's just like super flimsy. Look at this. Like the Wicked Witch of the West from under the house. Wait a minute. Oh no, didn't get lucky twice. It's just a. <laughs> Looks more like an antenna. Alright. So, character looks great. It just didn't sit well there. Okay, it looks like we got an amazing little sword right here. All right, let's get this out. Amazing little sword. The problem is, it's just as flimsy. So it's like, this one's worse than our other singing sword over there. Look at that. And of course, let me get these hands out before I forget they're there. Oop. Oh, Alright, so I guess this is a sheath for the sword. I'm assuming this would just go in there. Where does this attach? Interesting. Doesn't show in the box! So, I don't know. It doesn't really look like it really has a place specifically for it to go. Um, it also doesn't have any... Alright, so we're just kind of cram it in there. Whatever. Cool. Let's have her holding the sword. Oof. Alright. Maybe we'll try the other hand. Alright, well the other hand has... Super loose in there, and then way too tight in the other one. So I don't know what to tell you. I'm pleasantly surprised with how great this character looks. I'm very disappointed at how cheap it feels. Oh, yeah. All right, so the wrist was loose from the beginning. Both of them, look at that. That used to be when it would go like that. And I can't even get the sword in the hand, so I guess let's try the down up tactic again. Let's see if we can get that in there. Alright, it might work. I don't want to tear the sword since it's such a flimsy little piece of plastic. Ugh. Do it by time. There we go. Alright. So that looks great, it just isn't in there very secure. Her knee looks like it's permanently going to knock in like that. Ah. Yeah, this character is super flimsy. I'm not liking that. Looks great, but it's super flimsy. We'll go ahead and see if we can get her to stand right here. And then, of course, Thor Odinson. Let's see if we can put this sword. Wow, this sword is magnificent. That's a good word to call it. Look at that. And then we'll just, I guess we kind of just wrap this around over here. It's like we did earlier. God of thunder. Yet, he's shooting lightning at you. Awesome, isn't it? Wow. Great job. So we'll put him right here. Take a look at all of our characters. This is completely amazing. So now what do we have left? We have, set that aside. We have our Hulk pieces. What do you think? Time to build the Hulk, right? So, wait, I guess that might go on his shoulder. Let me take a look at this thing again. 
Okay, so I said belt. This actually goes, oops. I said belt, this actually goes right here. Pop the arm on. Massive biceps. Pop the other arm on over here. Nice. Look at that. And then art lines up. There we go. Put. There we go. Line that ball joint up right there. Uh oh. It's not wanting to cooperate. Let's twist on, hopefully. Okay. Alright. That looks great there. And the legs, let's make sure we put the right side on the right and the left on the left. There we go. Just twist it till it goes. Twist it, twist it, twist it. Ugh! This takes a little bit of brute strength. Alright. So he's definitely got these gladiator chancla sandals rocking right here. Let's bring this down. massive. You're about to find out just how massive in a second. First of all, look at that. Okay. Let's give him his weapons here. Alright, I guess we're supposed to put the thicker side, but... There we go. Nonetheless. Let's turn the head first. How mean that looks. Wow, look at that, guys. This looks incredible. And then if we bring Thor right here. Oops. The seat in relation. How big they are with each other. This is pretty awesome. Let's bring this down. So, look at that. The Hulk is just massive. Did a good job making him a pretty good scale figure. And this was tons of fun, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching with us. Hopefully, you can find some of these near you. They still sell them at Target. You can still find them at Walmart and GameStop of all places or perhaps even ThinkGeek. So these have not left the shelves. They're still there. You'll probably still find them for a few months, even though the movie's been out for like six months already. But the characters look amazing. This one was actually one of my favorites. Loki looks great. The problem is he doesn't have any uh, additional accessories other than the helmet. Hela looks great and has the other head right here. We have uh, Jane Foster with Mjolnir here as the new Thor. We have Odin's son with the, with the axe. That character's a little disappointing. And then we couldn't get the arm to go down. Uh, Valkyrie looks great. The problem is she only has that one weapon and she's not very well built. Like, she's super flimsy. and But... The character and the paint job and all that look pretty awesome. And this additional Thor, the God of Thunder, Thor with lightning and so on, that one looks amazing too. These are obviously my two favorite characters. Love the gladiator outfits that they have. And so, I'm super excited to have added these to our collection. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please give us a big thumbs up. I'd love for you to subscribe so you can see future videos that we have out. So. Um, please check out our, our video page on our channel and 
see what other videos we got. So comment below where you're watching from. And I'd love to hear what you think and which character you like the most. So until next time, guys, thank you so much. Bye-bye.